I'm Ashley and I run Lay Spirit Designs and if you're like me and if you're watching this video, you're probably also an artist who sells in Artist Alleys at conventions. I've been a vendor at Artist Alleys since 2017 and even though I have several years of experience, I'm always finding after every show that there's something new to learn about con life. One of the biggest things I've learned that is a constant lesson is storage and that goes for display items and inventory storage for transportation and storage to use at the convention. So today I'd like to take you through how I store my inventory and display items for conventions and this is how I store them for transportation as well as at the conventions. Please know that if you're coming into this looking for ways to transport your inventory when you're flying to a convention, I've never flown to a convention before so this is strictly for driving from my house to the convention. So. Hopefully in the future I'll have some tips for that. And I'm going to do my best to link all of the different items that I use down in the description below. So if I missed something or if I don't state where something's from, please leave me a comment and I will get back to you on that. Anyway, let's get to it. This is a general idea of my current Artist Alley setup. Usually I'm working on an 8 foot table, but for the sake of this video, I'm using a 6 foot one. My display consists of tablecloths, wire grids, wooden postcard displays, wooden boxes, wire hanging baskets, acrylic stands, and cardstock paper boards. Not pictured is my telescoping backdrop with curtains and my table runner. As you can see, I have a lot of products that I sell. Keychains, enamel pins, stickers, washi tape, memo pads, tote bags, pillows, mystery bags, lots of stuff, and they all have their own storage system. Let's get into that first. My favorite storage container is this ugly red fabric ornament storage box I got on Amazon. It has three drawers, each with 24 cubbies, and the front folds down to allow you to pull the drawers out as needed. This has been a great inexpensive solution to storing many items, and I like to use it for keychains and shaker charms, enamel pins, and washi tapes. I try to stuff as many of each item into the cubbies as I can without overfilling it. Next, we have sticker sheets. In my studio, this is how I store my sticker sheet inventory, and I even made little tabs to separate each design. I use this tab system for convention storage as well. When it's time to pack up for transportation, I use these 5x7 photo saver boxes to store as many sheets as I can fit and use up to three boxes. For behind the table easy access storage, these sheets get moved into a small bin that we can quickly grab from. The photo boxes can be found at stores like Michael's and the little baskets are frequently found at stores like Dollar Tree. Also found at stores like Dollar Tree, I've bought these small tote bins that come in handy for storing several items. I'll usually fill one with memo pads, sticker packs, and another with mystery bags. Typically I'll bring a third one filled with die cut stickers depending on how I store those. Speaking of stickers, these have been some of the trickiest items for me to figure out how to store and organize conveniently while at conventions. I use this little craft box for my 2 inch stickers, but they don't fit my others. I've put them into small baggies, unorganized in a box, I've tried to store them in the red ornament box, and lately I've used the card collector binder sleeves. These may be options for some of you, but I haven't personally cared for how any of these storage solutions work. Though I will be testing out bagging each design's stock and storing it in a method similar to my sticker sheets with tabs. But another popular storage for stickers is one I use, but for something else. This photo and craft keeper is often recommended for sticker storage. I'm currently using it to store leftover Patreon rewards, which is incredibly handy when organizing them by month. This is how I store these items in my studio and for conventions. These can also be bought at Michael's or other craft stores. Next, the dreaded 3D merch, pillow storage. I'm just going to say it, there is no easy way to store bulky items like pillows or plush for transportation. I've seen many bring their pillows unstuffed and stuff them on site. There is still the bulky box of stuffing at your table. So personally, I prefer to stuff my pillows ahead of time and use the stuffing box, sometimes two, to cram as many of them in there that I can fit without bursting. I've also used space bags which can be found on Amazon and other places, but the ones I currently own have holes so cramming into boxes has been the way to go. Lastly, we have tote bags. My tote bags come pre-folded with a sleeve label, which makes them super easy to stack and store wherever they fit. We usually pack three larger tote bins, two that carry smaller packed bins and boxes, and one larger one for display items, which I'll get into next. Tote inventory will go into whatever space needs to be filled. Inventory is all packed up, so that means all that's left to pack is the display items. 
For most of our display items, we use this large tote to store and transport, and there's usually extra room at the top for overflow inventory. This tote fits my cardstock display boards and long wooden postcard pieces perfectly, so I have a certain method of how I store these items. First, flat sticker board displays go at the very bottom. On top of these go the keychain and pin displays because they are bulky. To prevent scratching, I lay an extra cloth over the top and then add in the postcard display pieces as they will fit. Once those items are in, I fill it however I can. Display boxes go in where I can add extra things inside them, and I use this flat box to store all of those loose designated display inventory. This makes for super quick setup and teardown. This box gets carefully placed inside the tote, and my acrylic stands fit nicely on top. Next, since they will be the first things needed when setting up, I will fold my tablecloths and curtains and place them on top of everything else. And if there's extra space, I will usually add in my tote bag inventory, mystery bags, pillows, or other bins I may need to squeeze in. This is completely personal preference, but we don't like to use the hard chairs provided at most conventions, so we bring our own seat cushions from home, and these will go in this tote as well. Sometimes I'll also place my cash box in here. For easy storage, we use the box the grids came in to store and transport them. Grid connectors are stored in the sandbag that came with my bat drop display, which gets stored and transported in its carrying bag, which I also use to carry my vlogging tripods. For other little odds and ends, I like to bring a toolbox to conventions. This can hold supplies I may need like scissors, tape, binder clips, pliers, and so many other things. We also like to pack a little emergency box, which I repurpose from a makeup wipes container, filled with band-aids, medicine, and other items. All of these boxes and bins fit and stack neatly on our handy cart, and between the two of us, we can typically manage everything in one go. And that about covers it for how I store everything. So again, these are not tips for how to fly with your inventory and display items. Uh, this is strictly how I drive with them. And I hopefully by the end of this year will be flying to my first convention. So I should have an updated specific video for that eventually. But other than that, uh, again, if I didn't tell you where I got something or in what ways that I pack and store something, please let me know in the comments below. I will say that I'm not currently selling prints right now, even though I'm going to start working them back into my inventory. So I don't have any ways to show how I store those, but there's lots of different ways to store prints, including using those little photo boxes that I use for my sticker sheets, or actually for posters, I've made like my own little Velcro seal box in the past that I don't know that I'll ever end up using again. So just, Usually a box is going to be the best way to store those things. But let's start a discussion. If there's some way that you store something that I haven't considered, leave a comment below. And if you are looking for storage solutions that I didn't cover, be sure to check those comments so you can see what other people are recommending. So other than that, that is all I have to say about this convention. I hope someday I will see you guys at a convention. And if not, you can always see me here on my channel where I'm always giving tips and tricks for being a self-employed artist and convention artist. So I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you enjoy. Bye!